a two-time All-Star, a World Series champ, and will always be a Cubs fan favorite. Welcome back, our good friend Ryan Dempster. Hi, Ryan. Thank you. Hey, Ryan. Thank you. And I know congrats are in order because I just read you are going into the Canadian Hall of Fame this year. So congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yes, what a congrats. what a thank you. Yes. Uh, never really dreamed of that. You're like a kid growing up and just want to play baseball and then to get a call that you're going to the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. And I'm, I think Fergie Jenkins, former Cub, legend, Hall of yes. Famer is going to be the one inducting me in. So really cool. That's yeah. awesome. Well, what do you think about the Cubs so far? They're playing really well. Ah, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yes. Everybody wanted to write them off after a week, but they're, uh, they've turned it around nicely. And yeah, they're playing really hard. They're pitching very well. Chris Bryant's getting hot. I mean, he's already hot. He's good looking hot, but now his bat's yeah. getting hot. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and you're doing some analyst work for the MLB Network. So, uh, and, and now you're doing your own talk show. You got a great logo here, off Thanks. the mound. Yeah. What are you coming for a job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, um, yeah, just. I've always thought, like athletes in general, we always put them on a pedestal for what they do. And I like to try and put them on a little bit of pedestal for who they are. And we got a great list of guests and a lot of fun. And um, you can see here, yeah, we'll hopefully get Anthony up there singing again. And uh, we got guys like Moises Alou coming back to Chicago for it. Jeremy Roenick will be up there, Jeff Garland, and of course, Anthony Rizzo and some other special guests. So um, it's a lot of fun. And, we get to kind of joke around and, and uh, tell some stories. Yeah, That's and uh, I'm sure Harry Carey will make an appearance at some point. Possibly, yeah, yeah <laughs> possibly, or at least a, some sort of cameo video that he put together. Bro, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Now, like, how would Harry like introduce Chris Bryant to the yeah. show? Well, yeah, you know, everybody, this is a good-looking young man, <laughs> a six-foot-five Greek god, it looks like. <laughs> Kind of Zac Efron, but all grown up, yeah. you know, <laughs> something like that. Obviously, you got the personality for the talk show, yeah. but it's uh, near and dear to your heart too. And uh, and and your daughter Riley has special needs. And and tell us why this is so important. Yeah, so this shows a a, a great chance to raise some money and, and awareness. And we're going to raise money and partnering up with Special Olympics Illinois. So it will all benefit the Special Olympics Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, uh, they do such a tremendous job with raising, uh, you know, awareness, but really giving um, these athletes such an avenue to go out there and and have fun. Yeah. And yeah. from young athletes between two and seven, there's like a little over 17,000, and then 23 over 23,000 uh, Special Olympic Illinois athletes. Um, I know what sports meant to me as a kid and as an adult, and how much confidence they gave me and those kind of things. And to see kids with uh, and athletes with uh, learning disabilities and challenges and you know, uh, I always said with every obstacle, there's opportunity, and that's how it is for these uh, these athletes. And we're gonna have athletes up there on the show too, yeah. giving some of these guests a hard time. So it's gonna be a, a lot of fun and a great night. And so anybody who gets a chance, they can um, go buy some tickets, and you get those at uh, offthemound.com. And uh, and we're, it's just going to be a blast. I'm so looking forward to this. That's amazing. So now that you're in the talk world, and this isn't your first time doing it, what's the most fun part and the most difficult part? Uh, the difficult part probably is, you know, just like making sure everything goes right. Uh -huh. You just like, I don't want to think this thing is oh, easy. No chance. <laughs> it's not easy at all. And like, you know, trying to remember what, you know, who to thank and what questions you want to ask mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And then just the fun part is to see the human being side of these guys. Like sometimes when you see an athlete and they're on TV, we forget that they're humans, Yeah. you know? And so to see that human side of them is a lot of fun and see them vulnerable and kind of let their guard down or share a story that maybe you've never seen in a newspaper or yeah. on the internet or anything like that. And that's a lot of fun. Now, do any of the players or guests ever flip the tables and try to interview you? Yeah, sometimes they put it back on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you catch yourself like, oh, I got those improv classes better pay off right, right. now. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can buy tickets to the event. You're also streaming the event. Uh, would you ever want to do this full time? Would you like Mike Strahan and uh, transition to TV full time? Yeah, I think this is something that I'm pretty passionate about. Mm -hmm. I've, al I've always kind of loved it. Um, you know, I was the guy goofing around in the clubhouse and on the bus ride or the plane ride and kind of having fun with the guys. So I really believe in it. I think there's a, there's a good possibility to keep doing this. And, and right now we're just really excited for this. This is going to be a, a wonderful night at the Park West, July 20th. So really, really looking forward to this. Yeah. Do you ever miss playing? Yeah, of course. Yeah, the especially when they're in first place. Yeah, those men's league hockey nights, as we were talking about, they don't quite fill that <laughs> competitive <laughs> edge. Too? Yeah. Oh, he's Canadian. He was born with skates on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I skate like Happy Gilmore, so that shattered my dreams of playing in the NHL real soon. So. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, as Harry Carey, you want to read the prompter here for us? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, hey, let's thank Ryan for being here today. Uh, <laughs> as we mentioned, tickets went on sale for Ryan's Off the Mound talk show this morning. So head to offthemound.com and get yours today. 